Right Jeff, here we are back in your workshop. It's probably the last day of good weather for the year. It's, it's 28 weather. degrees and it's what, early September. Unbelievable. But tomorrow we, I think it's going to be uh, thunder and lightning and rain, so good. make the best of it, make the best of it. So what are you making Jeff? I see you've got a little uh, yeah. thing on there. Yeah, well I've got a minute, I'm uh, just making up some uh, caps to hold the uh, head race bearing. Oh, right, it's a stud in, so it pulls them there. Uh, trying to knock them in with a hammer with a drill. Oh, right, you're making a little. Thing. Okay. So basically, we're making up a couple of little, like, cups. Which will press the bearings in. Which will pull the bearings in equally. Okay, and what's that Seat for then? And what frame's that for? Hmm? What frame is that it's, for? It's oh, that one. That one, yeah. The K100. Which will. Uh, have various bearing bits and bobs, but not, but not the size one. That well, that's no doubt a so weird thing. You end up making one off bits and bobs all the time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, we'll look at that next, actually. Look at the, uh, this K100 cafe frame you've been working on. It's in the ballpark, though. Yeah, so tell us about this frame then. It's for a BMW K100. Uh, K, is it K? The Flying Brick? Yes, yes Flying Brick, yeah. The, yeah, the uh, four cylinder. Is it a four? I thought there were a three, but. No, 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 there's two. There's a four, which is 1000cc. Uh, that's a K100. Oh, it's and, and, yeah. No, 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 no. And there's also a three, a triple. Same thing. It's oh, called a, a K, triple. A K75. Uh, yeah, right. 750. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so I think you just uh, knocked, uh, knocked off a, a cylinder and called it a. Cut one off. Yes, that's right. Yeah. So, anyway, what we've got here is your much modified, or a much modified frame for a customer of yours. And I see the back end you've done quite a lot of work to it. So, what's happened here? That, we've had to bend two pieces of tube. Yes. That's 30 mil, but we didn't have 30 mil. <laughs> and if we'd have bought some, I've not got a bet to a former to bend it. So we had inch and an eighth, which is 28.5. Right, okay. So, so if you actually measure the chip where it's been slugged and welded there. You've actually uh, ground it, it down here. If, if you look at it very close, you probably see a bit of a taper flow. Yes, but yeah, once that's all painted and powder coat. Yeah, you won't see it. You know. Um, yeah, so we left it. We left one mount on that was welded to the tube, and then we had to weld round. So does this it. frame have a mono shock on the back? Then? It only has one, one shock on one side. Find well, yeah, yeah, it's because it's shaft drives yeah. and all that. Yeah. And it, it, does the wheel come on at one side? Yes. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like a, like what do they call it? A mono. Yeah, mono shock at the back, it, yeah. like a VFR seven hundred and fifty. So basically, we had to bend them tubes, slug them. Yes. And then we had to bend them yep. that way and up, and then it's very difficult. I had to I put a slug in there, mm -hmm. clamps them in the back, and I had to warm them. But it's not the bend has got a few little wrinkles in it to try yeah. and bend that by hand. You can't do it in the tube bend, you've just no way no. To, to do it. Well, you know, to get a bend there. Well, the inside there. curve's going to be up yeah. under the seat anyway, isn't it? The yeah. seat's going to be there. So, so this is for a, a cafe racer project, I believe. Yeah. Uh, but his seat's going to tuck this, yes, so by the yes. time it's, yeah, you won't it's see come it. on. Well, and then his guard or whatever yes, that yeah, will come yeah, below. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so it's going to be for a, 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 a cafe racer yeah. project. Right, so you're just making those... So uh, basically, well, Jeff told him to come and see me. Thank yes, you, that's Jeff. Right. Yeah, that's the other Jeff. <laughs> Jeff the Welder. He came to see Jeff the Welder and yeah. said, can you do that for me? He says, no, but I know a man who can. Another Jeff, so now here it is. Yeah. And you've done it. So yeah, so that's about to be picked up and collected so, and taken away. Yeah. Right, Jeff, so the reason I'm here is to pick these two things up. Um, which have had extensive milling. If you turn it to the camera, we can see what we're talking about. Just hang yeah. a little bit so we can see it. And what we did was, when they were made, they were just like big slabs of ugly metal to it was me. Just flat plate. Flat yeah. plate. And they're sort of big because we had to raise up the pegs and the mounts are quite low, so therefore the whole thing gets longer and longer. Didn't look very good on the bike. And in fact, I'm going to get these things hard and nice black just to kind of hide them a bit more. Mm. But in addition to that, I've said, to let's do, do a bit of a milling with rotary tables. Okay, yeah. If you look at the bottom, I mean, a CNC would leave it absolutely no, it precision. Mind. But there is a few. Oh, don't worry about it. If you turn it towards the camera, Jeff, so we can all yeah. see it. I will zoom in, and we can see what's going I on. Yeah, I mean, it's flat, but it's if it, there's a, a couple of thaw air and there, yeah, because yeah, yeah. you have to move the table, and obviously yes. you want to get a bit of movement in. I've yes. had the quill up no, down with that. on the stop. Yeah, I can so, always go over it by hand if need be, it, anyway. I mean, you could get a little thingy in there and smooth it yeah, off a bit. Yeah, I might do a bit, bit of hand work on it before it goes off. a tiny little... Lump. You, you know a Dremel, you know, with yeah, a yeah. little flat disc on it, just yeah. to... Yeah, I can do it by polish, hand if need be. Just to polish it in. Yeah, so if you hold it steady, and I can right. zoom in a bit. Just a minute, let's just zoom in. Right, there you go, so hopefully you can see that now. So we've given it a kind of spider sort of look, a bit sort of a F1 look there. Yeah. So pretty happy with that, makes it look a lot less slabby and ugly. 
so I can't wait to get that on a bike and then at some point in the future we'll get them as I say hard anodized uh, at Camcoat. Okay so moving on then Jeff I see you've been busy with well it looks like pistons homemade pistons and a crank in bits and I believe that is for your Honda drag bike engine yeah yeah while I was waiting to get stuff get done all the things I yeah. thought oh I'll just I've done the other pistons as well for that and, okay and the comp bike pistons okay you've been machined they've pistons. all been machined to size yes and these are machined from solid they, they, these are for the Honda yeah and what's well, that made from two sets they're 70 75 yeah aluminium yes of course yeah then, these. it's not uh, heat is is it it's well a, it's h15 it's l168 yes but it's 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 a strong, I mean, it's a strong, but I'm trying to, the reason I've wrote on them is I don't want to mix. No, mix up the metals. If I want to, I want to keep, keep them, you know, together. Yes. You can tell when you're machining it, it's, there is so slight you feel differences. A difference. Like um, what, does it just feel a bit different? Well, because one might be fractionally softer. Yeah. Because it's got different grades of mm -hmm. copper and whatever yes. in it. Yeah. And it's harder. Yeah. If you set the machine and you put one in the centres to machine it, yeah. you get two different sizes without right. even moving anything, anything on the machine. Right, okay. Different grades of, yeah. of any I must material. Actually, did, actually, I was surprised how heavy they feel because yeah. they're still quite solid, aren't they? What we've got to do is obviously yeah. there's a hole got to go through. Yes. And there's a lot of that that I'm, I've set up on the rotary miller. Yes. I'm going to go back in two mm -hmm. and then just with the milling cutter, just mm -hmm. arc it in a little bit, you know, so yeah. it forms. Yeah. And then on the side there mm -hmm. they're going to be i've got a admit i can set them up and mm -hmm. run the milling cutter across just uh, step back a bit because yeah. you're a bit close there jeff just a second lots and lots of uh right that's better that's better just a sec i'll start to uh refocus yeah right yeah and i believe have you now got your rings for those pistons so yes, was it 16 uh, mil or something some unusual they're, size they're, kept, they're, you know and what size are they in japan proper ones yeah uh yeah they're not made in the Wang Chung Chinese, um, you know, rubbish. Yeah, okay. Made out of a little bit of chewing gum with a bit of bent coke can. <laughs> bent. That's the one. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah, the proper so, stuff. Yeah, I've got a machine. What I'm going to do actually is set them up on the rotary table. Yeah. There's nothing worse than trying to go in with one cut mm -hmm. with a, mid a cutter. You can quite easily have problems. Yes. So what I've done, what I'm going to do. I've got a very. Is this to cut the uh... the piston ring grooves? Oh, okay. What I'm going to do, I've got very various sizes of slit saw. Okay. So I'm going to set them up on the rotary. Oh, and then spin it round very gonna slowly. I'm going to go in with a slit saw. I see. And actually put the groove in, not, and then finish them on the lathe. Right. Just with a. Okay. What I can do then on the lathe is just go in with a tool and just keep polishing them mm -hmm. until you just get the ring. Mm -hmm. You know, till the ring just is a perfect so why fit. couldn't you do that directly on the lathe it seems like an obvious it, thing to it, use it on the lathe well what happens is if you try if you're trying to take out that much material in one go i've had even when you're parting the tool can drift and if you've got something small you've only got to get it snagging okay. and it can right. snap so you can, think it's a safer route to what I, what i'd like to do is remove 90 percent of the metal with a slit with saw a, with a slit saw and then go round and then make a tiny little cutter and then just polish it off in like okay. thousands. Yeah, on your lathe. It might, don't get me wrong, there's some of these factories that have all this equipment and they just go... Oh yeah, yeah, well... And, you know... Well, well, you haven't got that. I haven't got the luxury of no. wrecking that. So. No, 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 of course not. So behind it here, we've got the components of the... Right. We've got the webs of the, and the bearings for the crank. Because the cases were bought out to suit a 500 Honda crank. Yeah. In their ultimate wisdom, Honda, in a, you know, it would have been great if the main bearings are evolving and kept the same. Size. But they weren't. No. Yeah. So, yeah, that's that's a 500 Honda main. You can uh, see the size difference. Yeah, so that's a 500. What's that one, 350 or a... That's a 450. 450. But it's, a, it's got a 450 crank in it, okay. a 58mm stroke. Right. So with the bore, it gives you... 396 Which you, yeah you're going for the 400 class aren't you well there's no put I, I mean i could take it out to about 460 500's pushing it because yeah you're losing too much off the cases yeah no matter what you do for clearance yeah uh, okay. so i originally was going to put the 500 crank in it with the 66 mil mm -hmm. well, but that's 65 mil stroke okay. and that gives you i think that gives you about four. 40 or 450 mm -hmm. 
with the well the class now has like changed that. hasn't it it's now yeah. mi maximum of 400 cc you can go to 400 so i thought it's better keeping it at the 400 yeah. not that anybody's so. going to care i don't think any folks in a classic uh, demonstration race are going to care but about if, if i put 500 crank in it no because it, it, it's not it's not going to be doing any serious no it's just a bit of fun it's just going to be quite a fun thing mm -hmm. but hopefully I don't want someone saying, oh, I bet it's bigger than what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Okay, I, fair you enough. Know. So you've been doing um, pistons. Anything else this last week? Uh, well, them steel things were machined up. Like I say, yeah, what I've got yeah. to do with them is drill them. They've got to have the holes. In fact, what I've got to do is make sure on the cases, there's a bit of, fair bit of work to do. The dowel hole, the 400, the 400 ones are critical. In fact, looking at them, the position of them is pretty much spot on. Mm -hmm. That's your dowel holes. Which holds it to the case, yeah. And that's your oil holes. So mm -hmm. they're pretty much in line. Mm -hmm. But if I make the sleeve on there go on, and I put something like, a, say that's a four mil hole, and I put something like a six in it, it gives you that scope. To be a mil out, for, yeah. to, to, You don't want to be... You don't want to be pressing that on and find that the hole's half out. And so though, your that, that ring in your left hand then is going to be a... I kind of that's got, that's going to be pressed on yeah it's the bearing to yeah. make it so it'll fit the it, it's ready to or in fact probably if i put that in the fridge and warm it up yeah it'll, it'll go in go it'll in. probably yeah. drop on yeah um so have you then machined out so yeah. you've machined out the crank cases to take that larger that there, bearing. the cases are done mm -hmm. to suit now the the bigger bearings yeah plus on this side when it's got the out the plate on here mm -hmm. it's got it's actually got two bearings mm -hmm on the output side yeah so it doesn't put too know. much stress on it yeah so actually, actually when the cranks in one of the bearings is partly over that and the, the sprocket comes slightly out right so it's literally held can't yeah move too much yeah flex under the awesome power of your engine hopefully well hopefully you know some people say oh do you need to you know well, so didn't, many people didn't in the you past um, have said well didn't oh, you why don't you leave it standard no because you know damn well if you try and put about 85% nitromethane in there, some of things... Well, didn't you keep on breaking well, gearboxes back in the day? I did smash a gearbox. And yeah, for that reason, yeah. Yeah, it's... Okay. And I think I destroyed a few pistons. Along the way. But I had it at the wrong compression. Mm -hmm. And there's a few things that I've ironed out. That you've and learnt along the way? Let's it, was, it was a long time ago, let's a long hope. time ago. Yeah. Right, so with that, then that's your pistons and anyway. your cranking pieces for the Honda. Yeah. Anything else? Let's have a look saying you made this thing here so what's yeah. that well what that is basically that will go oh you can, can it's okay yeah i can see right i need to tighten that in there yeah. it doesn't matter at the minute no it, about dialing it because once that's got the sleeve on it the steel sleeve with the holes drilled in mm -hmm. don't it can this even if it's only a light press fit once the dowel holes in line it's got the dowel in it it can't go anywhere okay so what's this one uh, this is just well, to hold a holder that's that's the actual bearing okay there. yeah so once that's in there tightened mm. up yes and i've got these so you've got two cranks okay so i'm going to machine that until it's literally just a push fit okay so it's spot on yeah and and what then then once the steel rings on it well what you do is you put that on it you clamp it with that yeah and you've got your steel ring and then you can machine the steel ring to the same size right so it's as, essentially as, a, as that right so it's a way of clamping that that ring to be because yeah, it's on. got to be spot on yes because of the roll it, it, quarter of a thou ish if it, it's got to be less, less. you know okay okay it, it, it's okay so that's a fit so it's all got that's a fixture yeah. to hold this yeah. the thing in place while so, you're so okay. basically what i can keep doing because sometimes on the lathe if you wind it out and then wind it back in what i need to keep doing is taking them off and keep machining them mm -hmm. without moving yeah that okay so you, you can get your final cuts because okay. sometimes if you wind that back and then to come again yeah. your readings can yeah. slightly alter okay. by the way by the way since we're looking at the lathe now i know the other week your motor finally called it a day and it turned into melted aluminium or something and you had to get no, a new motor on it. It, it i thought it was getting very hot wasn't it it got very hot it don't get and then eventually I turned it on, yeah. and I went like that, and it was going. Yeah, yeah. it was very tired. And I thought, so you, any minute, you had a new. I thought you, know, you had an old motor that you yeah, could use. So you it wouldn't. It. You could, you could just do that, and it was going. And you just do that with your finger, and that's it. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's gone. 
it, so it's he's now fitted another motor, not a new new motor, but a a. Uh, it's a two there. horsepower. Right, it's in there motor. somewhere. Okay, I can't see it from here. It, but. It's the the thing is, I think it works great. Yes. But even that, if you start taking, what's the old one? Was that a bigger motor? Than that was two horsepower. Oh, okay, so it's two. Of them. Uh, maybe there is a fault with that one. There's the trouble is when you're getting a lot of this second hand. Well, it's all old. Sometimes it? you never fun. know. You know, but it works. That's the main thing. It works. Yes, and you had it, it didn't cost um, anything. It's actually, as long as you don't, I mean, if you, it's got its limitations. Yes. Because if you try and take something like a, a, a 20, about a 10, that'll cut if it's mm -hmm. about four or five inches diameter, is not yes. bad. But if you tried something like a, try and force it a bit, 20 yeah. or 30 thou cut it to ramp it off, it'll just, it'll just, it'll Stop. let you know it's not happy. It's not happy. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, now talking about machinery then, you've been carefully saving up your pennies haven't you for a while yes. to buy yourself a new TIG welder. welder, a new TIG welder. Yeah. And it's good to you that because you need that to do yeah. my... Uh, well that'd be my, great if I could get, buy it. My, my, my crank, <laughs> yeah. you've just so, found out now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get, yeah. I get some funds to buy it and then eBay the, doesn't work. The, the system now that I'm yeah. trying to buy some has, fails has, has failed. Yeah. Ah. Ebay isn't you know. very, uh, be, being very friendly today, so it's uh, a problem. It's so hopefully you'll get that soon. It, it's then. life, isn't it? I yeah. mean, but then I look, no, there's no. other people around no, who no. are having yeah. far oh, yes, worse. Yeah. If if you have everything go right for you, perfect oh, all year happens. round. Never you're a very no. lucky person. Yeah. person. Yes, yes, yeah. You know, I think it's safe to say, Jeff, that you and computers don't always go together too well. The, the I think I, you I are an analog man in a computer world and. I don't have the interest that a lot of know, other people I do. I know. I, I rather come in here and make get things. on a shit and, and make something yes, and do yes. something constructive. Right, okay. It doesn't mean you're a Luddite, no, it no, just no, means no. that it, you're happy. I, 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 if I had if, if I had the money I'd just pay someone to sit there and do everything on the computer yes, for yes, me. Yes. But Well I do my best I but don't, you can't always you know, uh, solve I don't problems have, I don't have that luxury. No, no. <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> because you know me, I feel like that incident when Basil Fawlty gets that tree branch and when the computer's not working right. I thought it was a car wasn't you, it? You hit it with a car. Yeah, yeah you, you yeah. feel like getting the, you feel like going Bashing and getting it. a tree branch and just whacking the computer. Yeah, but that won't make it work any better you know? I'm afraid. No it won't but it'll right. make you feel a hell of a lot better. Indeed, indeed. Right well on, on, on that yeah. on that note we'll end it here and we'll come back next week It'll and see. give someone a good laugh anyway. Oh yeah yeah we'll come back next week and see how far you've got. Mm -hmm. Right Jeff so you've gone over there and you've grabbed Yet more. Well, just as you were about to leave, yes. I said I've done the pistons for this. Oh yes, this being this, of course, this, the uh, comp bike. The, these are eighty-one mil. Right. Obviously, we're at the same p position now with them. Right. So you've machined but the outer. What I want to do is set the miller up mm -hmm. to start doing them. Yes. But we're doing work for people. You can't. Once you start this, yeah. you've got to carry on. You can't. You, once you, you can't set stop. up, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very so. How many blanks? Have, how, how many have you got of those now? I see you've got a big drawer full. There's two set. There's two. There's ten of them. Right. So basically, two, two sets. sets. Yeah. yeah. And two spares. Okay. Well, I, I make a few extra because when you're setting up, it's always better. Yes. Yeah. Use your spare, not yeah. not the actual. Well, one. that's seventy seventy five. Right. Okay. So what they've got to be done, they've got to have the obviously good you pin hole through them. Yes. But I've got to get a special tool. I'm looking out for a small little honer, mm -hmm. an adjustable honer, Yes. because to, to hone the pistons and the rods, yes. and they're right. very expensive. How much is expensive? Thousand pound, ten pounds? Basically, £10? you know £4. why? Because the diamond tip. Okay, how much? Go on, spit think, it out. Uh, well, you're looking at hundreds of pounds. Hundreds of pounds, and you haven't got one. Eh? Does Lister have one? No. Okay. It's specialised automotive so equipment. You've got to save up hundreds, hundreds of pounds to buy this tool. Yeah. Which you haven't got, but anyway. So how many hours do you reckon you've got still to finish off those then, pistons? Yeah. Uh, you got a machine out. You got to machine them out. Cutting the grooves to the rings. Yeah, but the okay. thing is, you can't. But the, the, no, you can't are, buy them. But you, I'm just asking, how this, long this is it? This stuff now is very difficult to buy. Yes. Okay, but so how many hours have you got I, uh, left? Ten hours to do each one, or? No. One hour? Have you got ten to haven't you? So that's a... You see the thing is, if you spent the time on there, you could probably go through get all the pistons done in a couple of weeks. Right. Once you set up. But that's still a long time though. If, if it is, but you're doing about you said um, ten, haven't you? Ten, ten. You're doing um like you say you've got eight eight you're doing four to five sets of pistons. So 
Oh, okay. If so a what's... set of them's eight hundred quid. Oh yeah, yeah, sure. I'm not. I'm not I... saying it's a bad thing to do. It'd be very difficult to earn. So you said you quid. had. You said you had ten of them. So how come you got four sets? Where's the other sets coming from? What are they for? Oh, sorry. That well. Are I've they got... for other projects? Well, I thought. Well, I've done that. Okay, you've been busy. Uh, I, see, I don't. I, they're all in there. Yes. Cause them are finished now. They're at the finished sizes. Okay. Um, but what are the other ones for then? Well, are they for the same engine or for something else? Well, because um, these were all up on the shelf. Mm -hmm. the, these are eighty mil. Oh, okay. Oh, that's eighty. That's eighty. That's L one six eight eighty fifteen. I've marked yeah. on which. Right. Which and they're all it? dish now. They're all. They're. They're all at the same point now. Where are they also for the comp bike engine or are they for something else? Well, I made three sets because what I was going to use mm -hmm. is a set in the block. If I, if I decide to use the other red block on the oh, okay. spares bike, oh, for I spares can take bike. it to 1327 with them. Okay. okay, that's for another engine then? Yeah. A different engine. So well, you reckon then to do all them, you're looking at about two weeks solid work? Ish. If you could switch off and just yeah, get on yeah. with them. If you well, had the correct the holding thing tool. Is, if you found a set of pistons for sale, oh, no, no. you're talking seven or eight hundred oh, quid. No, I know. So I know I bought some. someone would end. You'd have to end up doing two to three weeks' work to mm -hmm. find the money to make well, to, to buy I know, them. I know. So, well, the eleven seventy pistons I got, the forged ones, they were about six hundred pounds, I think. Yeah. I don't know how much they'd be for bigger ones. Well, they're seventy. Let me see, seventy-five mil. They're 75 mil, aren't they? Yeah, well, these are, they're, they're 80. We've got yeah. 80 ones. Yeah. And I did this the other day. And yeah. oh, well. everything. And the 84s. We've got some more. Yeah, 84s. And what are the 84s for? The 84s were originally for my bike, for the billet motor that I've got. Oh, oh well. I... Yeah, we won't go there, let's, let's, go there. Not, go let's there. not go there. Let's not go there. Let's not go there. When I had the lathe set up with all the mandrels, I'd machine them all so you yes. could pop them on. Yes. Put the, I made a special thing up to go on there yeah. so the centre could go in so you could do all your work yes. on a fixed mandrel. Yes. Because what you want to, you don't want to be risking now putting that in the chuck and leaving chuck marks. Oh, no, in no, it, no. no. Yeah. Which is going to be, not, especially not with your. Uh, uh, what they class as uh, internal chuck jaws, mm -hmm. but if you use external with the bigger flange on them, you, when when I come to mill them, yeah. you're not too bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because they've got a bigger surface area. It's, it's when it's when you get your smaller contact point mm -hmm. chuck jaws that they it can leave marks. marks. Do. Yeah. But then, even if you got an odd little indentation on, once they're polished and they're, mm -hmm. they're sorted, right? So you've got. At least two weeks' work, solid work, to do that. Plus, you need to well, find. A, hang on, hang on. Plus, you need to find a, a tool which costs quite a lot of money, several hundred pounds. Now we all know you don't well, have several hundred pounds, well and you also don't have two weeks solid because you're always doing other things, like for me and for customers and whatever. So, when do you think this might be done? Christmas time. It's now September. If we come back this year, next, a year from now, it'll still be done or whatever. It's difficult, isn't it? Mm. Sometimes it might be worthwhile just saying, yeah, I'll do the well, money well, then. Well, the thing is, I did then because I, I couldn't do anything else. No, no. So, because I was waiting for that, obviously, the piece of metal, I can't get yes. on with anything for that. Yes. Um, yeah. And I thought, well, I'll get my TIG welder. I've had the problem with that. Mm -hmm. So, and then I'm thinking, well, let's not go there. Let's not go there, let's yeah. Not Everything's, go there. whichever way you turn, um, there's always a problem, isn't there, yeah. basically, yeah. yeah. I, at the minute, it's room. I yes. need some room. Room and money and money. Well, money always helps. Money be nice. Yes. Yeah. Right. Okay. Well, I do have to go now. So we'll come back next week and see how far you're getting on with your various Things little projects. Yeah. Okay. Now where are you going? I'm just coming round here. Coming round here. Yeah. Okay. All right. Right. Okay. Yeah. I have. Like I said, I've got. A, I've got a whole. Well, I can ream them. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's the ream. Mm -hmm. See, that's. Bro in fact, what I might yeah. do with one of the pistons you're is try and ream them. You're all out of. You're all out yeah. of focus now. Something. Oh, like sorry. That. Let me go back a bit. There we go. Right, that's better. Right, okay, I think you're back in focus now. Ah. So that's your reamer. Well, that is uh, what they call an adjustable reamer. Yes. Uh, it's. I've got a collet chuck. It will fit in the miller. Mm -hmm. And obviously, you can take... That will take the, the bushes in there. You just have to keep... You've got your adjusters on there and you just have to use them Very and then gently. just keep going whoosh, whoosh, yeah. through. Yes. The only thing is, is with a conrod, it's quite easy. You've got to obviously make sure that I've got my jig laid up. Yeah, yeah. You've got to make sure that absolutely parallel to yes. it. Yeah. Yeah. The other thing, the thing is with the piston, if you go through that sort of length, mm -hmm. 
And when you've gone all bluey. Oh, sorry. Um, that's it. Go back a bit. That's it. So, there's. What you don't. The, the, see, with that, if you go through and then it enters the other side and it start, it, and it kicks a little bit, it can send a shot wave through to your other jaw. You, so, you need that special uh, diamond tips? Uh, it's called a very small stone. Di di I think they're encrusted diamond honers. Diamond honer. Yeah, and what it is, it's, it's smaller, but it's adjustable, so you basically just keep going. You just set it. So it's and an adjustable just, yeah. diamond coated yeah. owner. And That's you're cool. only talking at microns at a time. Yeah. So your gudgeon pin is spot on. It's just that yeah, yeah. push fit. Yeah, there's, a lot of work. there's no there's no way you can get them machined mm -hmm. using a cutter. No. no. To, to, to to if you did, it would be a stroke of luck that it ended up usable. Spot on. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And the thing is with them, if you go too big, game over. Yeah, you gotta start again. Yeah. Right, okay, so, with that then, as I say, I've, yeah. I've done that twice. We'll end it here and I'll come back next week and we'll see mm -hmm. what else you've been up to. Yeah, so that's... That's that, so that's far. That's over, yeah.